Well, welcome back. Thank you. Back into Whiskey World. Yeah, what do we have here? I know, so nothing, today, about, I know nothing about this, this brand. So today we are uh, going to be like one of the most iconic bourbon brands and also one of the oldest. Really? Um, 1870 is when they started, Old Forester. And uh, still owned by the same family, five generations in. Wow. And uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. Kentucky? So, yep, Kentucky. Um, and the cool thing about this is probably about five years ago, Old Forester started this signature collection mm -hmm. of basically the most famous dates uh, in their history. Okay. So 1920, obviously the Prohibition, sure. um, which is fascinating because they were one of the only whiskey brands that was able to continue to sell whiskey during the Prohibition Why? for medicinal use. <laughs> smart. Right? Very smart. 1897 was when they first started doing uh, a bottled and bond. Okay. Um, which, do you which, know what, what bottled? No, I was about okay. to say, what does that mean exactly? So bottled and bond is a, it, it's basically like a governmented, uh, a government, uh, what's the word? Just oversee, oversees this one warehouse. Okay. So first of all, the whiskey has to be distilled within one season. So you can't like distill it over several seasons. It has to be over one. And then it has to be in a government uh, oversought, oversaw, overseen yeah. uh, warehouse while it's being bottled, while it's being actually aged. Why would they choose to do that? Like what's the benefit of that? I think it's just uh, more trustworthy. Okay. Like you know that this is like a legit, legit. way of making it. Got it. Um, also, it has to be 100 proof in order to be bottled and bond. Okay, so, more than 100? Nope. 100. I think it has to be 100 proof, yeah. So anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna finish with these ones. We're gonna start with just their signature 100 proof uh, straight bourbon. Cool. With the screw top. That might be our first screw top on the show. It is the first screw top. Yeah, I mean, I don't drink Old Forester. Like, I, I've never ordered it. I don't, I don't know why. It's, it's delicious. Like, how much is this bottle? That bottle is very cheap. I think that's like maybe 25 bucks, 30 bucks. So that's probably not going to be very good. It's actually pretty dang good. I dig it. Definitely not like our profile or my profile that I like, like which is more the sweet caramely. Yeah. But um, it's fire to it. Yeah. But it doesn't last long. Mm -mm. It's good. It's got like a. What is that? I know. I'm trying to figure out what that note is. I know. I can't. I don't have the words for it. But it's there. Like almost kind of, not, not citrusy. I don't know. I like it though. It's good. It's all right. Take it or leave it. Just for me. all right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not blown away. I don't hate it. I mean, I drink it. Um, probably this is bottom shelf, though. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, make a old fashioned or something with it. I suppose. I have used it many times to make an old fashioned. Actually, their Old Forester Rye mm -hmm. is like that is my go-to old fashioned. Uh, Bourbon. Whiskey. Bourbon. Right. Yeah. Technically, it's not a bourbon. It's a rye, but yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Bottled in bonds. So the U.S. government somehow over, over, uh, over, oversaw this uh, making of this. Yes. 100 proof. 100 proof. And uh, I'm excited to try this. Both these two I've never tried before. So Me either. We're in uncharted territory here. Perfect. And I have not eaten yet today, have you? No, I have not had any food yet. <laughs> this is our breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast of champions. So, I mean, are these hard to find? I mean, I feel not, like I see these kind not of... Not particularly yeah. hard to find, no. I mean, they're, they, these are more in the $50 to $60 range. so a little bit pricier. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, very good. Very easy to find is what I meant. Yeah. Scratch me saying, but very good. Yeah. A lot easier to find. All right, 
1897 bottled and bond. Let's give her a run here. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's got a lot more flavor. Smooth though. Yeah. For 100 proof, that thing is smooth. This one burned me up a little bit. This one, I can get down with this one. Yeah, it's got a great taste. It does. But I can see the notes. Like, I can see all that same flavor mm -hmm. from this one. It's just like they turned up the volume. Yeah. This and whiskey still, has a rich, bold character reminiscent of, the, of a 19th century bourbon. That's awesome. Hmm. Good stuff. I like it. Really good. It is really good. <laughs> you can see why they've been around for as long as they have. Yeah, they know what they're doing, obviously. Yeah. Well done, Old Forester 1897. That's good. I might have to put that in the repertoire. Mm-hmm. Okay, finally, the Prohibition style. Is it going to taste like cough syrup? I'm not sure. I don't know. Right? Yeah. Medical, medical, uh, yeah. medical uses. During Prohibition, Old Forester was bottled as medicinal whiskey. Genius. At 117 West Main under Kentucky permit number three, the typical barrel proof at that time prior to bottling was 115. So, 115 proof. This is, this is their medicinal bourbon. So I'm going to start telling people. It's, that's it's fun. Just, just for medical reasons. I just need to keep this in the medicine cabinet. I mean, Do people have medicine cabinets anymore? Uh, Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I mean, what were they thinking? Like, like let's let's just stop the sale of alcohol. Like, the outlaw it. The like, whole thing is, it's, I know. It's it, it that is, shit crazy. I know. We need to do, I need to do a little bit more research on the, on the prohibition so I can. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but I'm sure there was a lot of pissed off people. Well, I think a lot of it had to do with the war. Yeah. Right? I think, yes, it had something to do with it. You probably just need to cut all this out, Caroline, because we're going to sound real stupid. <laughs> or, Talking about the prohibition. Or keep Connor, it in. Yeah. Or keep it in. <laughs> or keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll no, educate no. ourselves. <laughs> yeah, someone watching this knows a lot more about prohibition than we do, obviously. Yeah. Um, I just know it was really bad for bourbon drinkers, for <laughs> sure. Exactly. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's yeah. the most important part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. 115 proof, 115. Old Forester, 1920, Prohibition style, which we know nothing about the Prohibition. We just, we just learned that from A us. drink of this a day keeps the doctor away. Perfect. Okay. Good. Good. Lot, I taste similar to this one. But this is our winner, right? I think so. 1897? Yeah. Yep. That Winter. one's dang good. Um, I'll probably never drink this again in my life. I think <laughs> that's where, where I'm going to stand. This one is really good, though. I really like that. Yeah. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get it a bottle good. That one's good, too. I like it. I'm pretty sure these are all your bottles anyway, so, you know. Fair enough. And just take them from the bar and <laughs> go for it. <laughs> um, old Forester. Liked it. Didn't know anything about it. One of the oldest whiskeys you said out there. But for a $25 bottle, if you're wanting to have friends over on the weekend and for sure. drink something that's that's got a solid taste but is under 30 bucks, I mean, yeah, but it's but not bad. No, it's not bad. I mean, by the third one, it's not going to matter anyway. I mean, we've so. had a couple in here that I would definitely get that Old Forester 100 over some of our other things we've had. I agree with that. I so, agree with that. But that 1897, that's a, that's a winner. That's a winner. That is a winner. We'd, we would rank that up there with some of these other ones. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Maybe uh, leave a comment. What do you want us to drink? Yeah. Pick and out some bourbons for us to go look for. Tell us about Prohibition, because we're not yes. going to do it. Yeah. We need, we, need, we need information on that. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Cheers. Yeah.